Hello, everybody. My name is Victor, and welcome to an update to the All Trinkets tier list here for Repentance in 2023. So this was a little bit of an extra video that was triggered by the Twitch Mosh Pit. Thank you. Shout out to the Twitch Mosh Pit for hitting one of our sub goals that we hit a couple of weeks ago. and Actually, more like a couple of days ago. But I wanted to record this video and again say, once again, shout out to the Twitch Mosh Pit. And also, of course, if you'd like to see more of these uh, tier lists here, updated tier lists for rankings on the channel, then make sure you click the like button, leave a comment down below, and let me know what you think on that. So the last time that we actually did a all items or all trinkets tier list was on the 9th of September of 2021. So depending on when this video comes out, which is definitely before September, almost two years to the day. So I'm very curious to see whether or not my opinion has changed on these trinkets. Now, I have not looked at the last tier list video. I don't remember where I ranked everything. This is going to be purely blind, but yeah, here we go. So again, thank you to the Twitch Mosh Pit and uh, enjoy this extra Isaac video that we have for today. So here we go. I'm just gonna start from the top here. Also, by the way, if for some reason one of the trinkets is missing or we're missing a couple trinkets on this list, then just post them in the comments and I will tell you where I would have ranked them. I think this is all the repentance trinkets, but again, I could be wrong. So just keep that in mind. So here we go. And by all repentance trinkets, I mean all the trinkets in the game. So starting off, Swallowed Penny. You know, I love the Swallowed Penny. I wouldn't say it's S tier, but it can be kind of clutch, especially if you have a way to trigger it. But it does require you to take damage or if you have the dull razor blade. So very specific instances where the Swallowed Penny can be good, super good. I'm going to put it right in the middle of the road for B. Um, I have not defined any of the of the ranks, by the way, as you see here. I'm just keeping it, just keeping it simple. S through D, very simple indeed. Petrified Poop. I love Petrified Poop. It is definitely S tier for the early game. It does fall off and get completely useless for the late game, for the mid to late game. So that's why I'm not going to give the S rank tier, but I definitely will make sure. I, I think that's easily an A tier. Borderline S, I would say. We'll reevaluate as we finish this list here. The uh, AAA battery, the trickle charge. I mean, it's good, I guess, but it's not... I wouldn't take it over a lot of other trinkets, so I'll say C tier. Broken remote, I mean, broken remote is just not great. It's sometimes it will it will basically trigger if you ever use your spacebar item, and it will give you like a random teleport. So uh, if you use it, that's fine, but it can take you sometimes to the Imera room unless they've changed that repentance. Honestly, some of these trinkets I don't even use all that wide widely, so. I'm not going to have full functionality experience when it comes to like every single one of these trinkets here, but just in my overall experience, I don't care with the broken remote. I don't mess with the broken remote. I don't care about it. Purple heart, same thing. I mean, if you want to get some extra champions, that's fine. It could get you some, some good consumables, but for the most part, it's a largely forgettable trinket for me. Uh, broken magnet, it can be useful for sure, um, especially if you're trying to reach stuff that's completely out of range or if you need flying or something like that. So it can be good. But for the most part, again, I don't really think that it's an, it's an item that I really care too much about. Rosary bead, same deal. I mean, it's, I would say, borderline D tier. Like, it does give you a chance to find the Bible, and I believe maybe the rosary in some situations, but no one no one's writing stories about how, the, how rosary bead, like, saved their entire run. Uh, the game cartridge, it, for invincibility, when you get hit, it's, it's okay. It's average at best. I wouldn't necessarily put it like it's not as useful as like the broken remote. So I think I got to put the game cartridge on D tier. I am very curious to see where a lot of these trinkets will end up as well, especially comparing comparing uh, to uh, to two years ago when I first did this trinkets uh, all to all trinkets uh, tier list. So we got Wub Wub. I mean, Wub Wub is it's Pulse Worm is like kind of. It doesn't give you any stats, to my knowledge anyway. Like, the increase in tier size and hitbox is kind of useful, but for the most part, it's pretty forgettable. Now, unlike Ringworm, as well as Wiggleworm, I do think that these have somewhat of a limited use. Um, I would say Wiggleworm's actually B tier because it does give you a tears up. Ringworm, Ringworm also gives you a tears up, I believe, anyway. Um, it could be a range up, but... Ringworm is less annoying to deal with than Wiggleworm is, because at least Wiggleworm, you, your your shots still remain somewhat straight. They are, they kind of zigzag, obviously, but uh, the tears up is the big thing here, and it's not as intrusive as Ringworm. Um, Flatworm, I like Flatworm. It's a little bit better, in my opinion, than uh, than Wub Wub. Just getting those wider shots, uh, it doesn't you know kind of pulse back and forth, so you can. It, it has just basically a little bit more dependability on the shots. 
Um, store credit. Store credit gives you a free item, one-time use only. It's it's phenomenal. Um, it's not S tier for sure, but definitely A tier. Getting a free shop item, especially if it could be something like, say the um, say Diplopia, say you know the map or Black Candle. Anytime you need money and you find store credit, it's like automatic, like S tier, of course. But in the grand scheme of things, I really don't think that it's like run defining. Um, but it's really really good. The Callus gives you spike immunity. It's you know it's good. It's nice to have. It easily gets replaced by other stuff, but I would say B tier for sure. Small Rock, A tier, absolutely. Even though it was nerfed in Repentance, it's still real good. Or not Small Rock, sorry, Lucky Rock. Lucky Rock is still really good, even though it was nerfed in Repentance to only pay out with, I think, a 33 or 30% 30 chance for a rock to pay out with some kind of uh, of money. It's it's still God tier. Whenever you, whenever you need money, again, not S tier because it's not as dependable as it used to be, but it's still really dang good. And if you have like a golden bomb or if you have some way of giving yourself a golden bomb or if you have Dr. Fetus or anything that blows up bombs, even passively, like even if you're fighting Mullabooms and they blow up rocks and stuff, you're still going to be able to generate income. And that's really, really strong. Mom's toenail. I still don't know the, the point of this item being in the game. It's absolute garbage. Black lipstick. I mean, you know, like if it pays, if it paid out more, it would be better in my opinion. It can be okay. Um, the thing about black lipstick and a lot of these trinkets is that, honestly, like a lot of them I don't use just because I don't think that they are all that. I don't want to say I don't want to say useful um, or, or like useless. I want to say it's just that I don't see enough of a reason to pick them up. Like black lipstick for uh, getting like the black soul hearts to spawn and everything. When it works, it's like the best thing ever. But when it doesn't, it's totally useless. So I can't really give it more than C. It's even lucky to be there, I would say. Um, Bible Tract, again, along the same lines with the Eternal Hearts and stuff, like if it pays out, sure, but it's not something that I'm gonna I'm gonna drop something else for. Master of Lock Picking might actually be S tier. Being able to open up chest for free it might be our first s tier item because that is so so strong i am going to put master lock picking up there for first it's what kane starts with being able to open up essentially all golden chests in any chest in the entire game for free not having to worry about keys it does the exact same thing that something like say pay to play would be would do or like the broken lock pick uh, or the broken lock or broken padlock but this one doesn't require you to have anything you don't have to pay with coins you have to pay with bombs or nothing it just gives you the passive ability to open up all golden chests super good can be really really valuable and also like can actually save your run in the late game monkey's paw monkey paw is you know it's like an extra life if you go down to a certain point you still have like a couple of extra chances to get hit and not and not be dealt lethal damage because it drops those soul hearts that you need you just have to make sure you go pick them up i would certainly say that monkey paw is a tier i never ever have to use it thankfully but you know if, if it if it works out okay it, then it, it's fine like I, again, it's one of those things where, like, if you need it, it becomes, like, the best thing in the world. But situationally, I think the Monkey's Paw is still an A tier on that one. Mysterious Paper, I mean, uh, it, can it can copy other things. But, like, honestly, like, it's not something that I ever, ever use ever. I mean, like, I, again... It's a, it's a matter of functionality when it comes to, yes, this thing can do multiple things, but if the sum of all those multiple parts is still something that like I would just easily drop for something else, I'm not going to take it. I don't think Mysterious Paper is all that great. Damon's Tale. Damon's Tale is an interesting one just because it does give you a it, it does give you a chance to get a lot of soul hearts. It's a, it's a way 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 better chance in my opinion than the uh, than the black lipstick. So I'll say B. There are certain certain times where you don't necessarily want to have all of your stuff to be replaced by black hearts, but when it does, it it can be good. So uh, missing poster. <laughs> I mean, missing poster is just kind of like there's. There's, there's not, there's nothing. Um, I, it, it's an extra life, I think, as the tainted lost, but that's about it. So, yeah. But Penny, but Penny is, it's, eh, it, it, it pushes stuff back. That's great. Rare candy. I mean, it, it makes you poop. 
you know if you have like if there's a way to spawn unicorn poop then i guess maybe it could be okay but still d tier um yeah hookworm hookworm's really annoying to play with i don't like hookworm that much and to my knowledge it doesn't give you any it doesn't give you any stat up um it gives you spectral tears actually no i think it does give you a stat, a, a tears up but if you if you end up getting something like tractor beam hookworm can be tolerable but I'll put it at the C tier. It's not necessarily D tier because it does have a tiers up associated with it, but eh, it's eh. whipworm. Now I do like me some whipworm, whipworm and ringworm or the wiggle worm. Definitely the two standouts of all the worm trinkets. In my opinion, whipworm can actually be super useful, especially if you have spectral tiers and especially, especially if you have piercing shots, the broken onk. I mean, the broken onk, it could save you. It's it makes it better than, than the other D tier trinkets in my opinion. So if it if it saves you then again it's one of the best things ever if it doesn't then it's just trash but i would say that broken Hawk is okay fish head i mean it gives you a it gives you a fly or a couple flies whenever you get hit it's not really in my opinion like that great so it's yeah pinky eye pink pink eye is borderline a tier i would say it, almost a tier as well um, the poison damage, I will put it in A tier because the poison damage that you get from pink eye just for being a trinket is just, it, it is, it's not invaluable, but it's just a nice little addition. Push pin gives you a, a random, uh, piercing shot every now and then. I mean, it's nothing special. Um, and to my knowledge, I don't think that it gives any, uh, it don't, it don't I don't think it gives any stats other than, other than maybe. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Yeah, it's, it's no issue. I have, I have platinum God. If you see my mouse cursor disappear, by the way, it's cause I'm looking it up. Just to just to make sure that I'm correct on these on these stat givers. Old Liberty Cap would have been A tier. New Liberty Cap is kind of whatever. I don't think that Liberty Cap's that great. I'd rather, like to be honest, I'd rather have any of the B tier trinkets over Liberty Cap. So if if Liberty Cap gives you like something like the Magic Mush effect or like Mini Mush, like it's temporary at best. Now, if of course if you have Rock Bottom, then that's totally different. But we don't have Rock Bottom. We're simply just talking about the we're, we're, we're just we're all we're doing is is just talking about the trinkets by themselves and yeah umbilical cord do you use umbilical cord like honestly do you do you just answer me that do you i don't know of any anyone who really goes out of their way to be like oh man umbilical cord is just so so good um child's heart child's heart's also interesting because if you need if you have a red heart build it can provide you with almost like old bandage-esque type levels of HP. Um, it's not super dependable and it's kind of dependable on chests, but if you get the payouts, it can be very, very, very good if you're running it just a pure red heart build. So it's good for tanky builds, but um, yeah, it's not A tier. I, I wouldn't say it's A tier. However, one thing that is S tier, our second S tier item, I mean, you knew that this was going to happen. Like most of the trinkets that are going to go on S tier, you pretty much can already spot them from the list below. But obviously, what more can you say about Curved Horn? It's a flat damage upgrade. It gets doubled with, all this gets doubled with Mom's uh, box, but clearly one of the standouts and also one of the rarest trinkets that you can find ever. But when you do find it, you are just happy. Rusted key. If you need keys, rusted key is very, very strong. If you don't need keys, it's kind of whatever, but something that can give you a dependable amount of pickups, in my opinion, definitely deserves to rank a little bit higher than some of the other trinkets do. And this one is one of the more dependable ones on the list, I would say. Goat hoof. I mean, I love goat hoof. Getting a passive, any kind of passive stat upgrades are going to, this is going to be a running theme in this tier list. And certainly, in my opinion, whenever you need to have a movement speed upgrade, Goat Hoof is going to be right there for you. It drops very, very commonly. You can smelt it. It's just passive stats all around. If you have nothing better, Goat Hoof. I love moving speed. Mom's Pearl. Mom's Pearl can be extremely good. I absolutely love the fact that Mom's Pearl can give out soul hearts, even more soul hearts than you're actually using. I think that it's sometimes underrated and also sometimes it can be kind of like just useless when it's not paying out but when it does again it's more valuable than the other ones in my opinion i think that having mom's pearl is better than not having it especially if you need the soul hearts and like if you're just desperate like you can find them it's basically like having a miter almost cancer you already knew where cancer was going everyone knows what this what this trinket does i don't need to even explain it Red patch, I mean, it's a tears up. It's a massive tears up that breaks the tears cap. There you go. For newer players, 
Newer players, just know that you want these two trinkets at all times. Red patch, I mean, red patch, it does, it makes you take damage, and yes, it does give you a nice damage upgrade, but I wouldn't say it's D tier. I, I guess it's a, it's a begrudging C tier, but I would rather put it at D tier, but I'll put it at C because it can be useful, especially if you just have no damage whatsoever, but plenty of HP. Red patch is okay, I guess. Uh, matchstick, same long, same thing along the lines of Rusted Key. Matchstick, whenever you need bombs, it's the best place to think that you can go for it. It's the best thing to go for if you need it. Um, however, you have to be careful because the Matchstick, I think the Rusted Key does the same thing where it replaces pickups that would have been something else with a key or with a bomb, respectively. So just be aware of that. Uh, Lucky Toe, I mean, it's a luck upgrade. If you need luck, you know, it's fine, but I, it's... Would I rather have any of these trinkets over this? Yes. I would ha I'd rather have all of these trinkets before I would even consider Lucky Toe. But it's not D tier because it is passive stats, and who knows what luck does in the game. Curse Skull. There might be some plays that you can make with Curse Skull. I'm not going to find out. Um, the uh, Pill Bottle Cap, if you want pills, sure, but... I mean, most people are going to think this is a, oh, it's Invicta Meme answer. <laughs> he doesn't take pills, but like... If you have starter deck, I guess you could put it at C tier. Um, it, it's just not, not great. I, I don't, I don't want things being replaced by pills. Ace of Spades. It gives you, you know, whenever it pays out, it's nice. Um, you could even put it on B tier, I would say, but the tarot cards, obviously, that that drop from it are going to be totally random and sometimes can be useless. Sometimes can be game winners, but sometimes useless as well. So. It's a fairly common trinket, so it's hard for me to put it, for me to put it, eh. It's borderline B tier, but I'll say, I'll say a borderline B to C tier. Just, we, we can interchange these. We'll, we'll, we'll do a once over at the end of this. Isaac's Fork, if you need healing, it's fine, but otherwise it's kind of forgettable. Missing Page, eh, I mean, it, take, it, it makes you take damage. Like, it just does the Necronomicon effect when you take damage on less than a hit. It's not that great. Bloody Penny, however, oh baby, talk about one of your early, early first game, big, big breaking game, big run breaking run strategies that you can do in the game with the Bloody Penny. If you have a, if you have a good amount of red hearts uh, to build, you're able to basically get a somewhat dependable amount of hearts back uh, from picking up coins, and it can it, it, that that can snowball really, really quickly. So I really like Bloody Penny on this. I'm comfortable with it being a tier. Oh boy, the burnt penny. Burnt penny gets downgraded to C tier. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry, but not sorry. The fact that it can pay out and does frequently pay out with so many troll bombs instantly downgrades at a rank for me. It's nice whenever you need bombs, but you know, and, and matchstick. Matchstick, yes, it, matchstick can also spawn uh, troll bombs. But the thing is, is that when you pick up coins, you're not necessarily expecting to get troll bombs. Whereas matchstick, if it spawns troll bombs, at least it's going to be spawned. It's going to be right there. You're not near it, um, like in the middle of the room. Or it's usually not. The, it's usually not near Isaac when these spawn. However, when you pick up a coin, the the sometimes actually all the times the bombs are going to spawn right next to you. So yeah, no go on that one. Flat penny, flat penny. I would say is almost a tier i'm gonna put it at a tier because honestly there's times when you can get charged keys from it you can get double keys from it with humbling bundle it's just it's just good keys are always going to be viable and they are never going to kill you so you don't have to worry about that unlike burnt penny counterfeit penny oh man counterfeit penny i look i gotta put it at s tier i don't think that there's going to be much complaints about that there's going to be complaints, obviously, because it's a tier list video, but Counterfeit Penny is... There is no downside to Counterfeit Penny. It's always going to make your run better. And we've talked about how valuable having money is early, mid, and late game, especially with the scaling with money equals power, with going if you're going to fight Hush, if you have restock, all that stuff, Keeper Sack. I mean, like, Counterfeit Penny makes any money-based item better, passively as a trinket that's so so good and it shows up constantly it's a very dependable s tier trinket all the way in my opinion the tick i mean it's not it's not 
D tier, but it's also not really C tier because you can't get rid of it unless you have the matchstick. I don't like the tick because it takes away... Yes, it does take away 15% of, of everything's HP of bosses, uh, HP, but it it removes your ability to switch it out with other with other trinkets. And anything that removes an option from the player, you know your boy's not going to be down with. Isaac's head, I mean, if you need extra DPS, I guess it can be fine. Um, I'll say a, a generous a generous C tier, but that's about as generous as I'm going to get. Maggie's Faith. Maggie's Faith can be very, very, very good. I would even say borderline A tier. It can Maggie's Faith can save you on from the brink of death on a run. Maggie's Faith gives you a half eternal heart every single time you go to a new floor. So if you if you get a run a, a string of bad luck with devil deals and you're not able to get rid of your HP, but you also don't have like a whole lot of HP to give anyway. Maggie's faith will be your sort of like your engine, your guide to giving you that HP and allowing you to establish more of an HP base so you can get those devil deals, so you can survive those hits and get to the later stages of the game. Maggie's faith, extremely good. I would definitely say B to B to A tier. I'm more comfortable with it being an A tier. It feels right. Juice's tongue, I mean. There are many, many, many times where I've seen Juice's Tongue just absolutely do nothing. So uh, if you can use it correctly, great. I mean, giving yourself a half price uh, devil deal is nice. But if you have soul hearts, this it's still full heart. It's still a full cost either way. So I, I'm not a big fan of Juice's Tongue. Nor am I really a big fan of the soul, a blue baby soul. It gives you a, a spectral Abel or spectral brother Bobby. I mean... A, I guess, but it's not something I'm keeping. Samson's lock again, same tier. I'm I'm fine with it going over here with the red patch. It, it's nice if you need some damage, but it's situational. Kane's eye, ugh. I mean, it barely ever procs. If it procs, great, but I, I'm not holding out hope. The crow foot, I mean, again, it's kind. It it gives you a spectral dead bird. So, like, Eve's bird's foot is, like, kind of okay, I guess. But, again, it's not something that I'm going to take over any of the other trinkets. Oh, boy. Left hand. You talk about situational. Left hand can be an absolute game changer. Almost S tier, I would say. But there are situations where you don't want to always be holding on to the left hand. And that, and that alone means that I can't keep it at, at S tier. If it's situationally good... I would say that that takes it out of the S tier ranking. But in my opinion, left hand is very, very good. Now, there's going to be some people who are on the opposite spectrum of this saying that, that the left hand is actual garbage. Um, and I can definitely see why they would think that. But for me personally, I, I just, the, the amount of value that you get out of the left hand is just undeniably good, in my opinion. And it could also give you free guppy items and give you free teleports to the devil deal. It's, in my opinion, it's just really strong. It's almost S tier, almost S tier. Then we go on to the shiny rock. Now, shiny rock is interesting because, again, if you can get if you can get reliable crawl spaces and stuff, it's invaluable. But and, and those can technically be game changers. And would you have known that? Would you have known that? You know that? Would you have known that that crawl space was there? Would you have known that that tinted rock or that double tinted rock is there? Many players, especially newer ones, still have trouble picking out the uh, tinted rocks, especially in the later game stages like the womb or in the cathedral. And uh, it can be very a very strong teaching tool for those new, for those players who are not as adept at finding those crawl spaces and stuff. Um, obviously, crawl spaces are completely random, but I'm talking about like tinted rocks. Um, so that to me, it it makes it useful. It's not dependable, but it makes it useful. So definitely not D tier, but also not B tier. Oh man, safety scissors. Get on up there. Almost S tier again. There's actually no reason for it not to be S tier, except for the fact that like, if you don't need bombs, then it's not really that useful. Um, the fact that it cancels out all troll bombs is incredible. Um, it completely shuts down some early game bosses much especially wrath if you if you're having problems with wrath or super wrath uh safety scissors takes care of all that you don't have to worry about troll bombs it's hard for me not to put it up at s tier but i'm i'm not going to say that the, that the safety scissors are on the same level as like curved horn or cancer 
Painbow Worm. I mean, if you really want to have random worm effects, then sure. But I'll put it for C just for the wackiness. But it's that's a generous ranking right there. Tape Worm, again, another one of the solid, solid worms in there. You do have to be careful of the tier height, but having a large amount of range can be extremely useful, especially for people who are running Cricket's Body or number one. This completely cancels out a lot of the downsides of those items. So I, I like me some Tape Worm if you need the range. Lazy Worm, on the other hand, is not great. The I, I would say I would rather have Wub Wub over Lazy Worm. The crack die is interesting because this can, this can be a total game changer, but it can also totally screw you up. I'm going to be kind and put it at the C tier. A large part of me wants to put it at the D tier, but I am going to say C tier because there are situations that I've had in the past that have been totally changed by the crack die. It does require you to take damage, which is another kind of big downside to it, but if you happen to use it and it gives you good stats or it happens to reroll anything like an item pedestal or stuff on the ground, that can be a total game changer. So it's a kind to of C tier, but I would say borderline D tier. Super magnet. Sure, I guess. I mean, if you need to attract not only stuff to you from stuff on the ground, but also enemies, then sure. Uh, Faded Polaroid. Faded Polaroid can be okay. Um, you can use it as a substitute for the Polaroid or the negative uh, for Old Beastie if you don't feel like giving up your damage or your po your Polaroid invincibility shield. Um, and having the AoE concussive effect at random is kind of nice for crowd control, but you have to be careful what it does with the pathing of enemies, though, when they're concussed. Louse? I mean... Eh. Bob's Bladder? Eh, you're not really using the creep from Bombs. Uh, watch battery watch battery can be okay again it's one of those things where if it pays out great if it doesn't totally useless blasting cap oh boy blasting cap is um in my opinion it's it's fine if you if you get in sort of like a cycle of we need bombs and we can't afford to be using we can't afford to be losing bombs it, situationally this situation blasting cap can be amazing when it comes to like the beast fight but if you have nothing i mean if you have absolutely nothing better then sure but i i don't see myself like i would rather have isaac's head over blasting cap stud finder i mean points to chest beep 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 beep, beep. it's <laughs> that's 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 it that's all i can really say uh, error, I mean, error is, it can give you the trinket, a different trinket effect per room, but like it's, it, it really isn't great. Poker chip again, poker chip, I would say is situationally good. If it pays out with a double payout, it's great. If it doesn't, then you just hate life. Um, I do actually like the, like the blister, um, having that knockback, it's almost like the Pisces effect built into a trinket. It can be good. You just have to worry about the clown physics, of course, but I'd say Blister is borderline B tier, but I'm still going to stick it at C. The second hand, it just extends effects. I mean, yay, I guess. It's not a trinket that I use all that much. However, uh, Endless Nameless can be very, very good. There's many situations, borderline A tier, I would say. Um, but I'm going to stick it at the B tier here because Endless Nameless, when it doesn't pay out, it, it does nothing, obviously. But when it does pay out, it can be very, very clutch. So it's not dependable for me to put it on the A tier, but it's certainly way, way better than everything below it. The feather. Now, here's the thing about the about the black feather. If you have the evil, the quote evil items, um, and that includes black candle, sin robes, abaddon, goat head, matchbook, missing page number two, and safety pin, this can give you a good amount of damage. It's situationally good. It's hard for me to put it at B tier though, because like even at the maximum, even at the maximum amount of items that you can have at it that are considered evil or whatever, it's only going to be seven or eight items. So like at most you're getting 1.4, 1.6 damage passively. And, uh, you know, and by that account, I mean, technically that would make it better. If maxed out, it's technically better than Curved Horn. I'm going to say B tier only because if you do happen to get 
those good items, those evil items, then yeah, you do, you just get free damage. So I can't put it down here to C level, but I also don't think it's good enough to be A tier just because like, again, you need those specific set of items for, in order for you to get any sort of uh, positive, positive bat out of this. Blind Rage, Blind Rage increases your iframes. It's okay if you if you happen to have any on hit effects it can be it can be very invaluable or if you have orbitals or something like that um i can't say that it's good as like ringworm or not ringworm but the uh, wiggle worm blind rage is okay the golden horseshoe when it pays out great but it usually doesn't uh the shop key it gives you a free entrance into the into the shop if you need an extra key then great but Okay. Uh, Rib of Greed. I mean, it stops Greed from showing up in the shop too. That can be nice. Um, I'll, I'll say a, a very generous C rank here for that because that is kind of a nice thing to do. If you have nothing else, preventing Greed from showing up in the shop can be invaluable, but it's not that big of a deal. Karma. Karma is okay. Um, giving you the luck upgrades whenever you're you're donating and stuff or the angel deal chance. It, it can be fine. It's not D tier, but it's if you have nothing better, but yeah. Oh, the grub. I mean, it's just like the louse. I mean, uh, like if you get, you, you can get payouts from poop and stuff and flies and, and spiders. It's great, but there's just way better out there. Bahams lock it. You, I mean, you heal whenever you use a heart. Um, it changes all half hearts into half red hearts into full hearts. Like for tainted Maggie, it's great, but like, do you really use it? I mean, if you if you have absolutely nothing else to heal with, I guess I could put it at the same rank as uh, as Isaac's fork. Um, and having all your, your half hearts turn into full hearts can be kind of nice, especially if you're playing like sack altars or uh, the uh, sacrifice rooms, or if you have like in combination with Maggie's bow. So yeah, I, I'll put it at C rank. No, never again is real nice when it works. There are some times where it just seems like it doesn't work, but it's designed to prevent you from getting active items in any item pedestal that you can see. And uh, that can be really, really, really strong, especially if you don't need to replace your active item and you're just desperate for passive items. So I'll put no at the B tier. Child leash. I mean, do you really use it? It keeps all your familiars close. It, it's to me, I, I can think of many other trinkets that I would rather have instead of it. The brown cap. The I would say that honestly, like, if there, if you have explosion immunity, it's a funny item, but that's about all it's good for. Um, Baconium, uh, it's the black poops that spawn have a chance to give you soul hearts. Um, but I can't, I can't put it in. You just don't use it. Like I, I seriously just don't use it. Um, at all so it, it's just not all that all that it's cracked up to be the aoe from the black poops is nice but not not like rib of greed nice or you know or even flatworm nice cracked crown you knew where that one was going s tier all the way it just makes you better it just gives you more stats for the stats you've already gotten and it's even at even in its nerfed form in repentance it's still better than all the other trinkets except for the ones listed on the s rank Dirty diaper. I mean, having the ability to charm flies and not have to worry about pooters and stuff is kind of nice, but it's almost, it, it basically takes the, takes the, the place of Skatol. Um, I would say it's C tier just because of that. Cause it can give you a little bit of safety, but other, other than that, it's not really all that useful. Fishtail on the other hand. Oh man. Fishtail is really, really, really strong. If you have a fly generator, fishtail can be absolutely incredible. Um, if you don't know what fishtail does, it doubles all of the, all the flies that you would have spawned. It just doubles them. Um, so it's a, it's, it's basically really, really, really strong. Whenever you have a, especially if you're guppy, um, anything that that's going to spawn spiders or flies, it's just, it just makes it better. Dead tooth, uh, 
you fire a poison tooth every now and then. You already know where this one's going. Um, tonsils, eh, tonsils, I'm like, whatever. However, not, something I'm not like whatever about is definitely nose goblin. Nose goblin, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. S tier all the way. The amount of damage that you get from nose goblin is absolutely incredible. It's one of, in my opinion, one of the lesser talked about trinkets for DPS boosters. And it is just so dang good. When you see nose goblin, if, I mean, you get, you get homing shots, uh, after it, after it removes itself or after the other target that was attached on dies, it's, it, it takes care of itself. It just deals more damage. Nose goblin, in my opinion, S rank all the way without questions. S rank all the way. Super ball. I mean, if you want rubber cement tears, but you don't have rubber cement, it can be fine. Vibrant bulb and uh, dim bulb are both situationally good, but the stat ups that you get from them can be clutch. It's hard for me to put them in C rank, but I really cannot put them any higher than B rank because again, they're dependable upon you. They're dependent upon your space bar item. I would even say that dim bulb is, is ranked one below vibrant bulb because it's much harder to keep an, a, an empty charge or a negative charge on your active item than it is with a full charge. So yeah, I'm, I'm comfortable with that. Um, the torn, the torn card is fine. It's nice if you have a, it, it's, it can be, Bleh. it can be borderline. I would say borderline. A tier, B tier is, it's, it's strong. The thing about it is that you have to be able to find your secret rooms. If you don't find your secret rooms, then you're not gonna, you're, you basically get, you basically get nothing out of them. Um, yeah, I would, I would say that, I would say that it's borderline A tier. I'm going to put it at B tier, depending on if you're able to find item rooms. Equality, equality is here. Here's the thing about equality. Okay, this is this is what I will say about equality. Okay, when you have the same amount of coins, bombs, and keys, they turn into the doubled version. When do you ever have the same amount of coins, bombs, and keys at at one time? Like honestly, you don't really see it all that much, and it's not something that you really depend upon. I, it, to me, it's not, it's not dependable enough to be useful, in my opinion. Wishbone, I mean, if you get a payout, great. Same thing goes for bag lunch. Um, if you have anything of a, like, if you have any creep based abilities, then the cork can be useful, but unless if you have, like, I guess if you have, uh, like acid or not uh acid maybe a little spewer it can be okay but like there's no there's no creep based effects that isaac can shoot out for the most part it does i believe affect a uh, mysterious liquid but it's not it's just not great pro heart i mean it it takes all of your damage and puts it on your red hearts i don't know why you would want to do that except if you really wanted to save your soul hearts um again crack walnut same thing goes for bag lunch and wishbone if you pay out great Duct tape, duct tape stops all of your, it basically stops all of your orbitals and everything from moving. It can be okay in situations, like, especially if you have like angelic prism, but I don't really think it's all that great. Silver dollar, making all your shops show up in the womb or better. Um, if you have the money and you have, especially if you have a late game keeper sack, it can be extremely, extremely powerful. Uh, giving yourself extra options, giving yourself extra ways to buy stuff is really, truly amazing. And uh, being able to, being able to basically to get extra items is where, is where I'm putting that rank at. Along those same lines, the bloody crown, I mean, it's being able to have an extra item room, an extra treasure room in the womb is just so, 
so strong. Even if you don't get anything out of it, it's just about giving yourself options to get better. And I think this way, this is the best way to do that without you having to wonder whether or not you're going to be able to get an item. That makes sense. So like, there's no guessing about this. Like you're always going to be able to get an extra item out of this, out of this or, or two actually. Um, even if you have like a black rune or something, you can still get stats out of it. Same thing goes for void. So it's, it's, it's game changing. It really is game changing. Pay to win. Oh man. Almost S tier. I would say, um, dependent upon if you have money or not to spend, but I would say def a, a solid A tier item, being able to have those reroll machines in your item rooms. Um, it does synergize with stuff like, uh, like the bloody crown. Obviously you have to have trinket smelter, but pay to win is just, it's just so good. You know that you're getting, it's all about getting options. And again, that's going to be the, that's going to be the theme for all of this is being able to have options and giving yourself a better way to get your better items and just make your run better. Just, just survive and win. Or fly, you know where it's going. Every, all the other flies can be okay. Um, I would say the locus of conquest is maybe even slightly better just because of the slowing effect. Uh, and the locus of pestilence is also not too bad. Um, locus of death and famine are kind of whatever, but I would say that these two up here are a little bit better than the other two just because of the poison effect, even though you only usually get one or two flies out of this. The locus of conquest are pretty, are pretty good. Actually, is there, or is it, it might be famine. Now, now I'm, now I'm, I'm I got to check this one out. It's either famine or conquest that give you the uh, that give you the flies that's slow. Um, yeah, it's the locus of famine that does it. So switch the locus of conquest to locus of famine, getting giving you the slow effects. It's pretty dang powerful. But the locus of conquest also gives you a lot of extra locus as well. But splitting them up like that, I'm fine with it. Batwing. I mean, if you get if it procs, great. You get flying for a room. Stem cell. If you need healing, stem cell can be okay. Again, same along the lines of Isaac's fork and along the lines of Mom's locket. Um, the hairpin. The hairpin can, is is pretty clutch sometimes. Being able to give you an, a dependable full charge on your uh, space item while you go into boss rooms is really nice. Uh, wooden cross. Wooden cross can be okay. Having your giving yourself a, a one hit holy mantle per floor. Sure, we'll take it. Butter. Butter, if you need to create an item pedestal that has an item room in it, or that has a, a reroll reroll machine in it, it can be okay. Uh, but for the most part, it's not really something that I use all that often because obviously you're going to drop an item at random. Uh, the filigree feather is super good. Borderline A tier, I would say, especially if you have rerolls. But I am going to put it at the A tier. Um, it, it's close to S tier, man. It really is. But I, it's a solid A tier item. Again, it's just giving you more items for where there was no value. I do love me the doorstop. Everyone knows that. Holds open doors. You just have to be careful about backing out of rooms that you're not trying to, like boss rooms. Um, the extension cord, if you have no other damage upgrades and you have a lot of orbitals or if you have a lot of followers, the extension cord can be very, very strong. Uh, same thing goes for the rotten penny, being able to give yourself uh, flies. It's not quite as useful as giving yourself keys or extra money that you can play with, uh, but flies are still pretty good. It, it can be a dependable source of damage if you have nothing else. Baby Bender. Oh, baby. If you have followers, Baby Bender, mm, especially with Little Brimmy, mm, just chef's kiss. The finger bone, again, if it pays out, it's great. If it doesn't pay out, it's totally useless. It's like a 3% chance. It's not great. Um, Jawbreaker is actually not that bad, especially if you have a good amount of luck built into it. It's basically like tough love. Leaky pen. I, I, I mean, the pen, like leaky pen is just kind of whatever. Um, it can slow enemies. It's yeah. Blessed penny. Oh man. You talk about an item that has saved our uh, our keisters more than a few times. Blessed Penny gives you a chance to get a half soul heart every single time you pick up any coin. And the chance scales up based on the coin's worth, which is incredible. So if you have a dependable way of making coins, then you put them down, you, you leave all the coins out, you go get the Blessed Penny, you can just grab all the coins. You still have plenty of... Plenty of ways and forgiveness to actually be able to 
just say, I mean, it saves you. Like, it's a run saver. Game changer. Broken syringe. If it procs, yay. Again, it's the same, the same, same logic with the, with Liberty Cap. Short fuse. Yeah, short rank. Gigante Bean. I love Gigante Bean. I would say borderline B tier, honestly. Being able to, to, to push stuff away, especially if you have Butter Bean or something like that. It's, it's truly amazing, and it goes great with with uh, mucor mycosis as well as Contagion. That's something that some people don't realize, that Contagion actually does synergize with, with Gigante Bean. It is, it is just, mm, whenever it does, it's beautiful. The lighter, this one I actually am going to be putting at B tier. Being able to, to, to light stuff on fire at random is quite nice, especially in the early game, taking out those annoying monsters. It can light up like bomb flies or mullabooms and, and then just destroy the entire room by itself. I'd say that's pretty darn good value for a trinket that really doesn't do anything other than that. Broken padlock, again, if you have keys, or if you don't have keys but you have the bombs, broken padlock is an easy way to just kind of save yourself and get into those uh, crucial chests and doors that you need to. I mean, if you have stuff on the ground to take with you, it can be fine. But I just... there, There's been many times where my where Miosotis is like... I, it, it's not great. <laughs> I'm just going to say it's just not great. It, yeah, like it, it can only take four things from the previous floor with you. So is it worth a trinket slot for that? If you have absolutely, and I mean positively nothing else, then sure, but it's forgettable. Oh, how the times have changed. You know your boy loves M. I don't think anyone's going to be surprised about that. Um, I don't remember where I put M the last time that we did this, but I'm pretty sure I re-ranked it high. I don't remember if it was S tier or not, but M, absolute game changer. 100% game. We've seen so many times where M has changed the way that we think about a run by simply giving us something like spin down die or like death certificate or, or like Genesis. I mean, it's just incredible. Teardrop charm. Yeah. If you have luck or if you have luck based stuff, great. Um, Apple of Sodom. Uh, unless if you like Apple of Sodom, I'll put it at the C tier because it can be useful, especially if you need spiders and you just have no use for red hearts. Um, or if you're playing as a loss or someone who doesn't use any red hearts at all, it can be useful at, get, at actually like getting some value out of red hearts, but it's not going anywhere higher than C. The lullaby, I mean, again, if you have followers, it can be very, very good. It's a, it's a pretty sizable DPS upgrade if you have a bunch of followers. Um, I would even say it's borderline A tier, to be honest, just because if you're running Incubus, if you're running Little Brimstone, if you're running like, um, if you're running like a Mongo Baby build, something like that, it's gonna be invaluable and really does boost the, the amount of DPS that you can do with your followers. Death's Essence, yeah. I mean, the Wisps are fine, but they go away very quickly. Broken Capacitor, again, if it pays out, it's great. It's it's really, really nice, but it does take away your ability to generate charge for your active item every time you clear a room, so it's not super great, but if it works out, it works out. Oh, boy, Brain Worm. We talked about my favorite worms. Get on up there to A tier, Brain Worm. I absolutely love Brain Worm. Being able to essentially give you homing shots for free is just so dang good. Um, even though they're technically not homing shots, they might as well be homing shots. Perfection. This is going to be controversial. I'm going to put it B tier. It's great when you have it until you don't. Then it just goes away. The Devil's Crown. Eh, eh. I mean, if you need, if you have a bunch of Devil Deal, if you have, an, if you have a bunch of HP and you haven't been getting anything good out of your item rooms, it can be okay, I guess, but... Charge Penny, Charge Penny is super duper nice. When it actually procs, I would say that it's definitely A tier, borderline B tier, but because it's obviously dependent upon whatever space problem you have. But if you do have an HP generator, it can be invaluable. Absolutely invaluable. Oh boy. This freaking item, the friendship necklace. 
again, it's kind of one of those things. It, it, it goes with your play style. If you like child's leash, then you probably really love the friendship necklace, but having your followers orbit around Isaac, there's only certain situations where I can think that's useful, but yeah. Panic button. I, again, there are some builds that panic button might be useful for, but being, I mean, whenever it uses your space ride and when you take damage, it's <laughs> blue key. I know a lot of people like seeing me use a blue key, but I don't like using it. <laughs> Unless if I'm just, unless I'm like running over a run anyway. Yes, you can use it for Pandora's box, but the flat file. Now I do love me some flat file. Getting rid of spike rocks, getting rid of curse room door uh, spikes, as well as being able to get rid of all floor spikes. Mm, so good. I love the flat file. It can be incredible for low life builds as well if you don't have flying. Uh, telescope lens. I mean, if you need to boost your your planetarium chance, you can. Uh, it, if it doesn't pay out, then it just doesn't pay out. But it's so pretty good if you like planetarium builds. Mom's hair. <laughs> uh, or Mag no, it's Maggie's lock, right? Um, I think it's Maggie's lock. Now, now I'm now I'm trying to I'm trying to find it on Platinum God because I don't I don't truly remember. Uh, your mom's lock. There you go. Um, has a high chance to give you a mom effect. In every room, a random mom item. Yay. I if I have to look up the the what it does, it's not good. Dice bag. Oh baby. Almost S tier, I would say. It is almost run defining. Giving yourself a D4 when you need it. I'm actually gonna put it at S tier. Some people may some people may think that uh oh, by the way, I was I was mistaken with that, with the uh where's the blue key? I was mistaken. I was thinking of this one here, not uh, not Hush's key. Uh, anyway, anyway, going back to Dice Bag. Dice Bag is honestly, truly one of the most game-changing items that you can get. Not even it, like in trinkets, but items in general. Being able to give yourself multiple rerolls at random, and whenever you do have a D6, like a glass D6 that drops at the right time, oh, it, it, it's, it is one of the most satisfying things that you can get. In Isaac, Di I mean, dice bag is just good. It, it is run defining. Holy crown again, giving yourself extra items. It just gives you more options to win. I do like it. Mom's kiss. Mom's kiss is good. If you have, if you have the need for extra HP, it can be really, really good. It's definitely S tier on tainted keeper or any of the keepers for sure, uh, because it does allow you to break that HP cap. So yeah. The torn card stay down there if you if you need damage and you're able to do to use this item successfully and safely then go for it but it's it's garbage torn pocket i do like torn pocket um the more i learn about this trinket the more that i definitely respect it being able to to get double or being able to re basically recycle uh, consumables that you don't need anymore into other things that you might need is pretty powerful. So I, I am starting to come around on the torn pocket. I still don't think it's super great, but when it pays out, it's, it's handy. The gilded key, giving yourself extra golden chest is always nice, but you have to be able to open them. Obviously. Um, the, the lucky sack is, I mean, if it, if it pays out with, if it, <laughs> It, it pays out with like a sack at the start of a floor. And if that pays out with something good, then great. But if you have absolutely nothing else, I mean, I guess it can be helpful. The, uh, the dark, not dark princess crown, but the, um, uh, a wicked crown. Um, again, it's, it's the same thing as every, as all the other crown items here. Uh, it just gives you an extra shop and item room that, Again, it's just it's an avenue of getting yourself more options to get power to be more powerful in the game. Azazel Stump. Oh boy. This one is hard to rank because there are some times when you just flat out don't want it to kick in, and there's other times where it's like, man, thank God Azazel Stump kicked in. I can't consciously put it better than B tier only because 
only because there are times where it's actually pretty disruptive um, and there's no way to get rid of it, of, of the effect. You just have to wait for it to kind of expire. But there are also times where Azazel Stun can really, really save you in a boss fight, especially. So, yeah, it's it's pretty good. Um, Dingleberry, I mean, if you like playing with poop, then you probably like all the C tier items in, in this one. Uh, <laughs> uh, pop caps. <coughs> If you like placing bombs and using them offensively, they, it can be okay. Um, but for the most part, I don't think that that's, I don't, I don't think it's all that great. Um, it's better, it's better than some other trinkets in my opinion, but it's not like, it's not incredible or anything. Um, and then the, uh, and then, um, I forget the, I forget the name of this one. Um, the uh what was it it's it's uh it's not uh not uh yeah uh beyond the womb floor replaces all coins and key spawns with random pickups with bombs hearts it has a chance to spawn flies um i mean it it can be good if you need pickups and stuff but it's not something that i i, I would rather i would much rather get rid of active items when, that i don't need rather than, than that modeling clay modeling clay again is another kind of kind of hard to rank because it, it just gives you random items from the entire game i there are times when modeling clay is kind of nice especially if you have rock bottom but is it dependable no is it fun yeah it's kind of fun it's kind of wacky but eh. polished bone this one's going to be a little bit controversial but i'm going to be honest with you polished bones really freaking good y'all We've seen the bonies, especially the dark bonies that we've spawned with it, actually carry us, like hard carry. And what's nice about the bonies that it spawns is that other enemies don't see them. Like they don't target them. They don't go after them like the charmed enemies or that they have the uh, the rotten tomato effect or anything. They just ignore them. So it's free damage that you would have already been doing anyway, except some of them explode and they deal a high amount of damage. I'm, I'm good with that. The bone heart, I mean, Getting, being able to give yourself a bone heart at the start of every single floor is kind of nice. Um, if you can manage to, if you can manage to fill the hollow heart, it's, it's great. It's a very good dependable amount of HP. If you can save it, that's the thing. If you can save the bone heart, but it still technically gives you a free hit per turn per floor. So it's kind of like wooden cross in a way, except you can actually keep the HP that you get. Child's drawing, child's drawing, it literally only has one purpose, and that's to give you Guppy if you don't already have Guppy. Um, to bridge that Guppy gap, it's hard for me to rank it because it doesn't do, it literally does nothing else other than that. I'm not going to say it's D tier, but I can't say that it's A tier either because if, it, I mean, it's a free Guppy item. It's hard to rank just because it's situational. If you don't have any guppy items, then it does nothing. If you have two guppy items, then it wins the game for you. So how do you really rank that? It's really, really difficult. I'll say A tier only, I guess, just because it's a guppy item. But if you don't need it, then there's no point of even having it sort of a thing. But it can lead to guppies, so it's hard for me to say it's a B tier. Crystal Key, I love Crystal Key. When, whenever it, it whenever it procs, we've seen Crystal Key go absolutely ham with the with the red doors, and those can be absolute game changers. Keeper's Bargain, Keeper's Bargain can be pretty good as well. If you have the money for it, it can be very very strong. If you don't, then it can be kind of ridiculous. The Cursed Penny, I don't even know. I know no one who uses the Cursed Penny, including myself. Um. Found soul. I mean, it's a free devil deal item. Depending on what you get, it can be it can be borderline A tier. It, I mean, it's it's good. Like it it gives you just a free devil deal item. It's just dependent upon the actual devil deal, but it can save you two HP. Mark of the beast or the, the devil's number. Um, it just it's a passive increase to your devil deal chance. Sure. Um, the blue key again. It's just. It's not, if you have Pandora's box, great. Little Claudie, if you can keep Little Claudie alive, you know the score by now. The Claudie gang, Claudie gang. It's just a better, it's just a better version of Isaac's, of, of Isaac's head. Except Little Claudie actually like matches your stats and stuff. 
mom's tattoo. Now the mom tattoo, the temporary tattoo is useful for challenge rooms and stuff. If you, if you need, if you absolutely have nothing else, it can be useful. I wouldn't say it's B tier though. Borderline, borderline B tier, but yeah. Swallowed M80. Now, Swallowed M80 is very interesting. It does require you to take damage, but when it does pay off, and you, or if you have any kind of explosion immunity, you are set. You're absolutely set. But again, the requirement for you to take damage in order for you to deal damage kind of brings it down a notch, especially if there's no other upside than exploding every now and then. You don't even know what the remote does. Don't even lie. Your soul, I mean... It's better than Isaac's head for sure. It's it's just the the only thing that sucks about your soul is that it can die, um, but it does match it does match the same thing that Claudie does. Um, it's it's a little less less sturdy than Claudie is, uh, which is the reason why I'm putting it below Claudie. But it's still pretty good. Expansion pack, oh boy, expansion pack again. It's one of those random items that if you get a if you get a good. If you get a good use out of it, then it can be pretty incredible and it's, it's kind of wacky. It's kind of like modeling clay in a way. If you can get a good second use out of it, it's wacky enough to be fun, but not not good enough to be dependable for anything other than C tier, I would say. <coughs> um, the Beth's essence is... If you get, if you get damaged, it gives you the wisp and that's fine. It, it, it's just, it's just, it's again, another one of those things where it's a retaliatory trinket item that in my opinion is not enough of an upside for you to take damage. The twins on the other hand are very interesting because they can double your, we, we've been seeing the twins kind of being used more often in the YouTube series and being able to double your, uh, your followers when it does proc is kind of nice if you don't have any followers it gives you i think it's sister sister maggie or brother bobby uh, one of those two so it can add a little bit of extra dependable uh h or uh, damage to it but overall again i don't think it's like super incredible it's just whenever it procs it's kind of nice cricket leg cricket's leg would be better if it didn't spawn more flies but the amount of flies that you get from it is I would say borderline better than what you get from Locus of Conquest or Locus of Death. So it, it's okay. Just be careful of the war flies. I mean, Apollyon's friend, the Abyssal Fly you get, it deals damage. That's about all I can really say about it. Um, it's not really dependable, in my opinion. Um, Broken Glasses. Now, this is going to be one that's also kind of hard to rank because it, it does give you the extra blind item. Um... And it allows you to, it'll uh, if we talk about options, right? We talk about ranking other trinkets that give you more options to get better items. Broken glasses, it does have a chance to spawn an extra blind item uh, in the item rooms. It will always be hidden, um, but if you go alt path and you can see what the other blind item is, guaranteed. So it does have a little bit more intrinsic value than the other ones that have a chance to do just do nothing. So I'd say it's 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 pretty dang good. Ice Cube, Ice Cube's really, really powerful. It's not S tier, but almost S tier. Just being able to have a frozen enemy right off the bat is so strong. And then last and certainly not least, we've got the Sigil of Baphomet. You already knew where that one was going. S tier all the way, baby. Getting that damaged invincibility shield whenever you kill something is just mm, so strong. Almost borderline broken, I would say. So really quickly, looking over the, the going over the, uh, the rankings here, um, I'm pretty much satisfied with it. I think that, you know, with the logic that we, that we've used for, for a lot of this stuff, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty okay with it. Um, there, I mean, there's other, there's trinkets here, kind of like, like, uh, the golden horseshoe. If it, if it procs, it's great. Um, if it doesn't, you know, same thing along the lines of the on hit effects that we have down here, it can be situationally good, but if we're comparing them against other trinkets and other things that we have, uh, that we've got here ranked. 
I'm okay with this list. Let me know in the comments down below. If you'd like to see more updated tier list video videos again here by clicking the like button and leaving a comment. Of course, there's always going to be debates uh, for these tier maker videos and shout out to tiermaker.com as well. I'll put a link down below. We can rank your own tier list and post them in the discord or on this Invicta subreddit. And as always, because we remember these are just, these are just for fun. None of this is to be taken as church. We always are in a constant state of reevaluation with items and trinkets and everything that has to do with Isaac. So just have fun with it don't take it too seriously post your opinions and comments down below and thank you very much to the twitch mosh pit for making this happen and as always i'll see you all next time until then so long everybody